Well, ahead of the new Patriotic Party's parliamentary primaries and orphan constituencies, the former Bono East Regional Minister, Kofi Amwakohene, is confident of winning the Atibubu Amantin seat after becoming the first ever member of parliament on the ticket of the MPP in the 2016 polls. The former legislator, who is among the 23 aspirants in the eight constituencies, says he is ready to give incumbent MP Sanja Nanja a showdown in the 2024 general election. And Asabit has the rest of the story. The Atibua Mountain constituency is one of eight orphan constituencies out of the Bono East region's 11 parliamentary seats. The constituency since its creation has been an easy turf for the National Democratic Congress with the party winning both presidential and parliamentary polls until the year 2016 when the party lost in the parliamentary polls to the NPP's Kofi Amwakohene. Mr. Amwakohene, who won the seat on his first attempt, pulled 19,218 as against the incumbent Sanjananje's 18,151 votes. He, however, lost the seat on his second attempt to the former legislator Sanjananja in the 2020 polls with a margin of nearly 10,000 votes. Mr. Kofi Amwakohene, who doubles as a former member of parliament and the first ever Bono East Regional Minister, is today one of three persons contesting to represent the NPP in the Atibuba Mountain constituency. He is confident that with his track record in the constituency, he has what it takes to reclaim the Atibuba Mountain parliamentary seat for the new patriotic party. In any election, you have to be serious and compete keenly. And that is what I'm doing. And lucky for me, because I've had opportunity to lead the people, I think I have a lot of evidence on the ground. And fortunately for me, Nana Adodan Kwakufuade is not contesting directly. So I claim the work that we have done, and it serves as competitive advantage for me against the other two candidates. He however noted that the NPP stands tall when it comes to developmental projects in the Atewa Mountain constituency, adding that that gives him a strong advantage over his NDC counterpart. Based on records, that is my competitive advantage over him. In fact, he's not just been an MP first and second term, he's been a DCE also at the place. And trust me, the records are on the grounds, and I know both media knows my grounds very well. If you talk about development, and if uh, I'm being uh, truthful, I think that we can claim about 85% to 90% as against him and the NDC since 1992. And I believe this is my stronger bid, and I'm going to beat him, I mean, entirely. The 2024 parliamentary elections will be the third contest between Kofi Amakwene and Sanja Nanja should both candidates win their respective primaries and Mr. Kofi Amakwene is confident of winning the next contest adding that he'll give Sanja Nanja a showdown. Since 1992, Atebebu constituency, now Atebebu Amantin, has been for only NDC. I took it for the first time for MPP. And the vote margin at the time was almost 10,000. And I uh, squashed it with a plus of 1,096. And he also came up to beat me almost 10,000. So I would say that this is a final World Cup match. So 2024, I believe that I am going to give Sanja Nanja a showdown, and we'll continue with the good work that we are doing for Madagana. Anna Sabit, Joy News, Atibu.